Oh, oh my god! I told you! God. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder, guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Thanks so much for the support, guys. Now, what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back with a potentially new show to the channel. It's Dexter New Blood Season One, Episode One: Cold Snap. Cold Snap, and uh, yeah, Dexter's back, y'all. And yeah, I mean, we have seen the first eight seasons of the you know the last Dexter series, and I mean, not gonna lie, obviously everybody was probably not a big fan of the whole Dexter becoming a lumberjack ending. You had a hot ass wife, he had his son Harrison, and they're chilling away from his in Argentina, and he dumps Debbie in the middle of a hurricane ocean, and then just. So yeah, they did Debbie dirty, bro. They just they did Debbie dirty. Like they did Dexter dirty. They did Dexter dirty. Like the writers did him dirty. Like what? I don't know, they were trying to paint a different picture or whatever. To me, if you watch that, if you go back and watch the show, first season on, it uh, it's a great show. I'm not saying it's the best show, but it's actually a really good show. They did good. It's compelling. Show. It's compelling. It leaves for what it is. You get good cliffhangers, good storytelling, good build up between the sister not knowing, and then when she does find out that it's Dexter and the conflict because her brother and sister bond. She covers for him. She kills her boss. The past with Dexter, why he's the way he is. You know, he's anti hero in a way because he murders murderers, serial killers. It's literally not even the final season. It's not like, I want to say, like compared to Game of Thrones, like the episode. It's literally the fun, the finale. It's yeah, the finale. Like, you have one job to stick the landing and you become Lumberjack Dexter. No, nonetheless, here we are. I'm guessing, I don't know if you call this, it, it says season one, so I guess it's like a new chapter in the whole, you know, Dexter mythology, but yep. I think if I read, if I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere maybe like 10 years or something like that, but yeah, I kind of I kinda want to see like how they're going to rectify this, how they're going to bring justice back to my boy Dexter, because he's yeah. a clean ass character. I don't want to see him being a spokesperson for bounty paper towels. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I have a good feeling about this show. I think the, the right, I don't know if it was the writers, the directors, I know that afterwards when they got the episode done, they probably got clapped, they got clapped and they're like, or if I didn't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole, but I'm glad that they're going to come back and try to redeem it, wrap it in a nice bow, and then this time stick the landing. And in a way, it might be like the other shows that we've watched, like Cobra Kai and uh, Chucky is one of the recent ones we reacted where new material will make the original material better. Yep. So, I mean, it says season one, so I don't know if this is going to be the first of like a new series of seasons, this new Dexter, but I'm ready. I'm ready to see what the hell this shit's going to have to offer, and let's go, Glacier. Ready? Ready. All right, guys, and as usual, let's take a couple seconds to the like button down below, the impression do leave more views. And it's really up to you guys if we're going to continue to uh, actually record reactions to the series. So we really need your guys' engagement. Um, we want to go in and set a goal for a thousand views and a hundred likes in the first 12 hours of releasing this video. And then if we do that, we'll continue. We'll give you the early reaction on Patreon and all that stuff. And also to add to that, leave a comment down below what you thought of how Dexter ended. If you loved it or hated it or what you would have done different. Yeah, are you a fan of the Lumberjack Dexter Club or not? I don't know what you're thinking if you like the Lumberjack Dexter, but to each his own. That being said, let's fucking go. Here we go. We got Dexter. Quicker picker upper. Well, if you're hunting, I feel like the animal would be. See, he probably still has that urge to kill, so I guess he's taking it out on. Animals. On deer and shit, yeah. Oh, damn, clean us. Damn, oh. white deer. Damn. So he didn't kill it. I wonder... Would it, would it feel better if you tied it to a table? He's like, I just wanted the... Maybe just wanted the adrenaline, like, the chase. Not so much like just the catch. Like, kill you. I just want to see if he sees his son again. That'd be clean if his son ends up becoming, like, a serial killer. Because think about it, the son saw Rita get killed. Or, like, was there, like, next to her dead body in the tub, so... Oh yeah. That would make sense for a character arc. It's on the floor. So what was that? It's got a new boo. Are you ready for tonight? What the fuck, Dad? He's gotta be like talking to her ghost or some shit. Yeah, just yeah. teleport it. If you say so. It's a good way to keep her keep her in the show. He's probably haunted by killing her. GH well too. Yeah. From now on when Cleon's birthday comes around, you and your dragon girlfriend get sharpened and cook the clean steak. I'll cook something and tell you it's a steak and you're gonna find out some shit you don't want to eat. <laughs> oh. I don't know where this new blood is. Yeah. No oh, shit. I wonder, like, I wonder, I wonder that'll be something. Like, these little flash scenes, like, in each episode is showing. Yeah, like, like, foreshadowing. What's, what's coming, yeah. I can't even get out of my house, barely get pulled over already. I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle, sir. Hmm. Oh, they're okay. fucking. Okay. I was say, I was gonna I was like, wait, he's, he's getting real passionate. Good way to st <laughs> stay off the radar. Chief. Just okay. okay, you can pull me over again some other time. Let me finish. I'll swing by the station later. 
I like no, you can finish. You're on top. You can yeah. finish and I'm, go I'm back. I'm like two pumps away. Come and it's on. like it's, a, it's the lamb or whatever he said that came out of the that broke out eating his kettle. And Dexter's been listening to that Lil Wayne song while fucking a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I got stabbed by a lady cat. <laughs> and she made me say fuck the police. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. It's morning. You coming line dance it tonight? Yeah, I wouldn't miss it, Pastor Brian. What's up, Jimbo? How are you and Angela doing? Right doing on. all right? Yeah, as far as I know, why? What have you heard? Edward Shit. Olsen heading up to his chalet. Rich asshole season begins. Local rich guy. I don't trust rich people after we watch Squid Game. Yes, rich people in a small town. What does he do on this shit? I wonder what his like regular job is. Can be a lumberjack. It's probably a butcher shop. He's a PTSD. <laughs> I'm gonna slice the pig. Hey gig. You got my stuff. Damn, it's probably gonna be a lot of those misdirects at first. Yep. Damn. I wonder if it's more of like PTSD or more if he has the urge. The itch. Probably both. Like to do it, like you know what I mean? Like oh, I mean he's suppressing it pretty good. So I'm sure enough time has gone by he's at least learned to like Move on for now, anyways. Yep. Just so you know, it's gonna be a stressy kind of week. Brian and I are adopting. It's so much pressure. Wow. Yeah, I can only imagine. What, Pastor Brian? How can I help you? Uh, I just rolled into town with my posse. Gonna do a little hunting. Gonna need a new knife and a big ass gun. Wow. <laughs> hey, easy there. Uh, I'm getting bad advice from this guy already. Yeah. What the actual fuck, man? It happens sometimes. It's just a 24-hour oh, hold while the FBI checks on your record. Well. Oh, I knew you are shady. Well, dude, just sell me the gun. Neither of us want Fred to lose his business, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Eagle Scout. Deep breaths? I don't think <laughs> Deep <that>. breath. <laughs> well, either you're a shady asshole or you're a douche. Either way, I don't like you. Like it's Mr. Showdown and Mr. Reckon. could be a yeah. good guy, just a fucking yeah. asshole. Well, maybe like the first victim for all we know. Yeah. You kill somebody. Actually, like, please. I wonder who his dad really is. His last name's Caldwell, so I'll keep a lookout for that. Put it on my tab. No need. Matt Caldwell's buying everyone around. Of course he's here. Yo, it's Jim! Jim! Oh, and he's drunk. Jim! Jim! Uh, Jim! 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 Don't egg his ass on. He's probably gonna be a drunk asshole. You know the messed up part? FBI gets backed up and half the flags clear automatically, and people fall through the cracks all the time. <laughs> God, he's a beerless friend of my yeah. asshole. <laughs> he's probably tequila. What other taking shots of? Waste of good liquor. I Dexter. have a feeling Matt's gonna start some shit. Yeah. He's gonna push Dexter and be like, hey, I'm gonna punch you. Why don't we get out of here? You could open up your shop, give me that rifle. My guy's done. We want to wow. go hunting in the morning. If your background check clears, you can come and pick it up at the store in the morning. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, God. this Eagle Scout loves his rules. He seems like a loose cannon. You're not from around here. Hospitality. Taking the first bus out tomorrow. Just gotta make sure I got the fare. Just gonna take this, just in case. Thanks. Angie, you're a real one. You know, I can see why Dexter, I can see why Dexter likes you. Besides yep. the fact that you're beautiful. I could see you beautiful too. The hitchhiker lady. So I'm kind of hoping nothing happens to that lost kid, the, the girl. Yeah. Who's new in town? Seems like a prime suspect to get. It was missing. Yeah, it goes missing. Oh shit, it's the person that got off the truck. Oh. Now question is, is it our antagonist or is it someone that knows? No, oh, yeah, knows his past. That came, that snipped him out. Are you actually gonna shoot me this time? No, I wonder if he just does that, just like he says. Like, he uses the scope to get a closer look. Like, she's a beaut. Oh shit. Well, someone's following him, I think. Yep. I have the feeling I'm being watched. And I have a feeling you're letting this map prick get to you, brother. It's been almost 10 years. Stick to your routine. Damn, 10 years is probably good. Yeah, in a small town, he probably literally just does the same shit day it's in and day out. It's kind of ripple effect if he, I guess, if he gets off routine. Like, he's just start forgetting that shit, his boss is like... Yeah, it's like a domino effect. Yep. Yeah. All it takes is Matt kills somebody. All right, the background check finally cleared. Nope, still holding. This beat kind of slaps though, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Uh, can't go in the tavern? The fuck? Everyone's favorite Petro billionaire decided to close down the tavern for his annual board meeting. Yeah, uh, we got in the helicopter. Audrey? Don't you have a test today? What could's math if people like Edward Olsen destroy the planet? We brought you some uh, cocoa to warm you up. You keep fighting for what you believe in, guys. That's what makes this country great, right? 
Ooh. Fuck your coffee. Mystery hoodie guy. Who are you? Yeah, got me. Well, he's gonna urge like, oh, shit. Twitching. Who are you? Follow me. Hey, Jim. Matt Caldwell's been cleared. He wants the gun okay. dropped off at his dad's lodge. Should we really sell him that gun? Nine grand? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that sucks, because if you gotta kill him, I'm, I'm prime suspect, because you're the one that's gonna do it. You can just follow Dexter's instinct. I don't know why Matt throws these things. He always ends up holed up in uh, some bedroom anyways. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey. <laughs> I need a straightener. He looks all tweaked out. Yeah, there's those red flags they were talking about. I really wanna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Good. Or she ends up with him. Oh, M.O. Okay. Matt ends him dead. Bill's a suspect. <laughs> yep. You know what they call me? Bill. Hmm. Dick face. Oh. <laughs> you know who never gets laid? Dick face. There you go. I guess I should have gotten on that fucking boat. Oh, damn. And he's fucked up from the accident. Like mentally. Yeah. He's talking about that accident? I told Matt to stop. What do you mean you told Matt? He wasn't driving. Oh shit, or was he? Oh, he's covering him. That's right. Busted. Busted. Fuck it and fuck him. I lied at my trial so, so that he could go free and, and, and bang my girlfriends. Ooh. Oh shit. Do not let him sign for that gun. <laughs> well, if Matt was driving, why didn't he stop? Because he was playing chicken. Matt was wasted. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to know the worst part? The other guy gave up, turned the boat away, totally yielded. God. Just drove right fucking into him anyway. <laughs> wow, you're definitely gonna kill Matt. <laughs> Matt's yeah. dead. You did that shit. Days between us, huh? You're looking at the guy where secrets go to die. Bars. I mean, he is not lying. Yeah. He's getting those urges like, oh, Matt's a bad person. I kind of want to kill him. <laughs> like, do not point. And he feels responsible. Something oh, happens. Yeah. Sweet. You better not point that gun at Dexter. <laughs> oh, I told you not to do that shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. Is he just thinking that? You all right, Jim? Oh, shit. Yeah, it was just in his head. <laughs> Thanks for shopping at Fred's Fish and Game. Oh, see a little crack starting to happen to his I side. Like, I thought it had happened, and he was realizing what he did, and he's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I to, oh, I can't stop now. <laughs> yeah. Damn, someone's in his fucking place. You not hear hooded, a pull up? The hooded guy. Either his son or somebody that knows him. Yeah, it's gotta be somebody from his past. Oh, oh shit. It's a big reveal. Who are you? Yeah, it looks like a young kid. What the hell are you doing? Are you Dexter Morgan? Jim Harrison. It's me. Harrison. Oh shit! Harrison. You Holy shit. Everyone close to you dies. I don't know who you're talking about. But you look just like I remember. Yeah. If you don't want me, fucking say it. Yeah. Stokes, yeah. Aquarita, Rita. Mm. All dead. Me. Don't put your finger in it. Oh, God. I get the picture. Oh, fuck. Me? Me? Yep. Shit. Do you see the blood soaking yeah. your shirt? Sorry, I'm not the guy you're looking for. That's probably even worse than yeah. turning him away. Or they're gonna set it up like his son's the one's killing people when people start showing up dead. It's not good. He needs to be there for his son, but I get it. But still, he's doing it to protect him. Yep. Um. Oh, he found the picture, so he knows. He knows you're full of shit. It's not good. He found the picture. He knows you're lying. He'll be safer with Hannah. Where is Hannah? She should be dead for all you know. <laughs> Crazy. We got him at the first episode. The son already. Right off the bat. Crazy. If the son dies, and he didn't take him in. Yeah. And gets killed on the way to Hannah. I'm like, wow. I guess you go either way. You can gonna be in a victim or you gonna be in a killer. Oh, well, hopefully it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh shit. God. Oh my god. What the oh, fuck, fuck is that? Oh, the dream. It's like the weasel from fucking Suicide Squad. Almost ten years without a kill, and I love you for it. Yeah, that's a good part of like. Keeping him at bay. Yeah. Like he's probably trying to do that in honor of Deb. I feel like the whole facade's cracking like little by little. Matt, his son's showing up. Yep. All it takes is a dead body showing up and he's like, 
original Dexter activated. You know what's gonna be crazy right here? Matt's got the gun now. Watch him shoot this fucking buck. Oh shit. <laughs> like, now I really hate your ass. <laughs> this whole time he chases the same buck. <sighs> and then, fuck your routine. And you can hear, woohoo! This gun's fucking awesome, Dexter. Thanks, man. I thought you didn't hunt, bro. And this is like the closest he's been to him, probably. Now, if Matt does shoot him right now, then it's definitely you know, yeah, blood. on like Donkey Kong. Pitch. I'm right next to the deer and you shot him. Yeah, the blood sprays on his face. I'm like, wow. You needed that piece. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! I fucking told you! God! I fucking no, I told you. Jesus. I was and look, blood spray in his face. Oh, Matt. <laughs> wow! Oh my god. I almost tagged you, dude. Oh my god. You're so dead, Matt. Boom! That's not hallucination. <laughs> Nobody's not snapped out of it. It really happened. Did it? Damn. Just time right in the chest. The good old days. It's been a long time. Oh no. No, what is he gonna do? He's gotta do something. The guy literally. That's gonna dump the way I'm remember that. First rule of the code. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't get caught. Damn leaking. Well, Nikki and Steven ain't gonna be able to watch this. God, uh, yeah, hell no. Oh, let's get the blood cover that blood. Smart. Yeah. Right back at it. Jeez. Let me get my lab set up. And he's gonna fucking get, he's gonna get a reason to kill him. I mean, now he has one. He's like, bitch, you murdered people on the boat. Five. Yep. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry about the mess. Yeah, I thought for sure Bill's gonna kill him. But, well. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. Ten years sober. Ten years <laughs> fucked it over, Matt. Oh, for my collection. Oh, my. oh yeah, because he hasn't done that in a while. That's the thing about serial killers, man. They keep a token. Don't keep a token. Sorry, it's my signature. I can't help myself. You're fucking crazy, man. Arguably, but not the point. Then what is? <laughs> Tell me what you did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. How's it feel? Are you a serial killer? I was. Well, you know what? You're right. Who are we fucking kidding? It's not so much that I was. Yeah. It's that I am. This is about the boat, right? There you go. I will never do anything like it again. I, 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 I swear to you. I promised the same thing, and look at me now. <laughs> God. Oh, my mom died when I was eight. My dad, he was never around. He was always working. Shitty childhood, okay? Always well, thinking about his son. Shit. Mom, mom, yeah, I mean, this one bad parenting. You know, I lost both my parents when I was young too. So you're not gonna kill me. Sorry, we can't use another excuse. We're past the point of no return on that one. Uh, this is the part where you shit yourself. You know what? Fuck you, man. My dad, he is gonna destroy you! Like you said, yeah. life is short. Dude. <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, good to have you back, Dexter. <laughs> I'm the heart, too. He's like John Wick. They're wondering if I'm back. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking I'm back! back. <laughs> I don't need trophies anymore. Yeah, don't keep that I shit. I may be a monster, but I'm an evolving monster. Damn. Now, how are you gonna get rid of that body? Is the question. I'm gonna oh, chop yeah, him up. Right. Throw it in that ice. Yeah, probably in the ice hole. Do with you. Jeez. God. Oh, the story of Matt. Yeah, sorry. I thought you might need this. What time you're gonna show what you do for a living, Ali? You ever heard of bring your kid to work day? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know me. You were right. I'm Dexter Morgan. Your father. Come home. Damn. I wonder if he has, if he remembers being in the bathroom with his dead mom in the tub. Or if he like blocked that out. My father protected me. Taught me. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for my son. That's what I was like, look, I'm dating this girl. My name's Jim in this town, right? Just go along with it. Oh shit. Told you, slipped up in mean, 10 years. Yeah, it's a little, a little what sloppy. What about the blood spot better? Unless he was expecting that to go away with the snow. Ugh, I mean, you should be able to just sweep it, sweep over it, bury it, but shit. Well, first episode. Yeah. Shit, all right, cold snap. Which what did you think? A good start. I felt like a little bit of a slow burn, but I mean, you can't just hop right into it. It's gotta kind of show like where Dexter's been, what he's been doing the last 10 years, that yep. he's got this routine that's basically holding the the urges that he has back. 
by just doing a living regular day life on a very strict schedule. Hunting, tuna sandwich, getting his bakery for his boss. Yeah, the donuts for his boss, and, and you know, go home, rinse, repeat. Rinse, repeat until you throw Matt in there. Yeah, and I, I mean, I knew it was something fishy about Matt. I thought he was either going to be a murder, a murder victim. I didn't think it was going to be Dexter that killed him. But yeah. I thought it was going to be he's going to be a murder victim to whoever like the serial killer was in this town, or he's going to be one doing the killing. Yeah. I guess technically he was doing the killing, but it was it was from like a previous boat accident where we find out from Bill, where everybody just thought it was like an accident and he didn't drive or whatever. Yeah. But he was the one that drove. He purposely swerved at that guy even after the guy yielded from playing chicken and he got five people killed. Yep. I thought from that, the way Bill was talking about that, Bill was going to be the one that kills Matt. Yep. And the way the writing is, like, some of it was a little bit, like, predictable, but I was just, uh, that's what I would thought would have been a good scene. Like, when he was sitting with the deer, it's like, oh, Matt's going to shoot him. Yeah. The show, the show does, it's not like Netflix. It hasn't dropped all 10 episodes. So it's not like, I, I fucking know. And this, yeah. We didn't even watch enough stuff to where it's like. Yeah. Then kind of like, you know, I guess been practicing all those crazy ass shows we've seen. Like dark Especially stuff. the fact, like, the deer was white, the snow's white, and, like, I was like, oh, if he gets any closer, there's going to be blood splatter in his face. Sure. Yeah, it's worse than what I thought. I actually thought the deer was going to get shot when he had him in the line of scope. Like the gunshot was gonna go off and he's like, I didn't pull the trigger. And Matt was gonna go, woo -hoo. And sure enough, Matt was gonna go, woo -hoo. Yeah. I would've been pissed off too, because you're right next to the deer and you shot him. Like, I'm having a moment. Shot. Like not only did you know that you could've shot me, but I'm having a moment with this majestic animal and you take that from me. So now you gotta go. And that, that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. Even if you're hunters, I bet hunters have a coat. You don't fucking shoot when there's someone like right there. Even if you're the expert shot. I could be wrong. I mean, hunters can clap me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't know. I would think that you don't shoot there risking that you're gonna might hit the human being. Well, plus, there's gotta be some kind of code. You don't shoot someone else's target. Like you see someone else aiming, and then you kill their deer or whatever animal is. Yeah, it's probably it's like bro code. It's like smashing another dude's girl. <laughs> it's like you don't do that shit. But damn, that's all Dexter needs. He's like, oh, I have the evidence from your homeboy, Dick Face, that pretty much laid it on, laid it all on me. Told yeah. me what you did. You fuck his girlfriend. You pay him money. You give him a Rolex, two thousand dollars a week, which is, I mean, that's a lot of money. It's eight grand a month. But still, for five deaths, man. Man, I was weighing on his heart. He's like, shit, man. I'm like lying for his ass. And he's fucking my girlfriend. Yeah, and he's fucking a girl that I like right in front of me. And the worst part like, is like, they're both moaning and shit. <laughs> it's different if it was an accident, like a legitimate accident. Then, I mean, then it is what it is. You, 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 you're probably, you cover for your boy so he doesn't do like maybe manslaughter or whatever the charges would be. But you, he literally ran that boat, killing five people. Yeah, so like, I mean. Not like maybe like consciously like, oh, I'm going to kill the... Like maybe definitely consciously I'm gonna kill the person I'm playing chicken with, but you didn't consciously think of your actions, what it's gonna cause when you rammed your boat and you killed five people on your boat, dumbass. Well, obviously he, he seems like that type of guy. He doesn't think about other people's feelings or any of that. She's like, I'm gonna do what I want and fuck everybody else. But so that's that's just crazy. So now it's just gonna be like the whole town's gonna be doing this big crazy ass investigation. And it's, it's crazy because it's the same parallels when he was a forensics guy. He's gonna be one step ahead of the cops because he's he's dating Angie, so he's gonna have all the inside info of where they're going, who their suspects are. But I feel like it's such a small town, it's only gonna get him so far. Like, well, it depends now because now Matt has, comes from money and his dad uh, comes from money, which we saw yep. previous to the next episode. Dad's a good actor, so he, he's coming down for money though. He's gonna be bringing, like, oh, you small town cops can't do it? I'm gonna bring my own cops. And now, remember, it's 10 years later, so it's probably gonna be better technology. And so, I mean, and plus he's hadn't done it for 10 years, so there's probably a chance he's gonna be rusty. You see, he already left blood trails in the snow. Yep. So those two right there are gonna be, not gonna be good for Dexter. And then meanwhile, the big reveal is his son Harrison shows up. We were kind of talking about earlier in the episode, like, oh, technically he'd be 10 years older, so you're kind of an adult. But what is his part in this? Is he honestly just like, looking for his dad, just needing a father figure? And also, what the hell happened to Hannah? Like, if I had to guess, I would say Hannah maybe tried to poison him or some sure, maybe Hannah didn't do anything. And maybe, Harrison killed her ass and then went looking for the dad. And there's all those missing women that they're looking for. So obviously there is an actual serial killer in the town as well. So yeah. could it be Harrison? Who knows? Maybe Matt foreshadowed it when he said, like, I didn't grow up with my dad and have a moral compass. Like maybe he just had his mom and his mom wasn't a, obviously a good role model because he merged people too. Yeah. And he could be doing what his dad does, thinking his dad accepts it. He's like, oh, dad, you accept me. I, I, all these missing women, they're me, pops. Uh, I mean, it would be perfect because then it'd be father against son. Like pretty much you created me. What happens there? Where does Dexter draw the line? It's like if if he found out if last if the last show they did with Dexter, if they he found out somehow that a big reveal was the sister was a murderer. When it comes down to like a legitimate family member, like blood, I'm not talking about a relationship, I'm not talking about a wife, I'm talking about blood, sister, son. If you find out that he's the one that killed all these missing women, what does he do there? Does he stick to his code? Is it because that urge that he has? Oh, I I only kill bad people. I mean, I guess it depends what is stronger will inside of them, the code or family. 
Because he does have this part of him where it's like, he gets close to people, he, he, I mean, he even has the capacity to fall in love, but it's like, at the end of the day, is all that just secondary to his main, like, thirst in life, which is to kill. I feel like his, I think if his son was doing that, I don't think he would kill him the first time. Even if all those girls that he killed. He'll probably try to save him first, and try to like, give him redeeming arcs, like, like, come on, like, let me get you out of this, it's my fault you're like this, and then it'll get to a point where, sorry, you gotta go. Yeah, he'll be up, that's what'll happen. You'll have to he'll give him, he'll basically say, look, redirect that energy, if I can't change you killing people, I need to change the people you are killing. So no more killing yeah. women, no more doing whatever. I'm gonna let it slide. This is your one mulligan as your father. You're gonna, you can be my sidekick like Batman and Robin. We kill bad people. We kill murderers, which is still not good in the real world. But at least you're directing the energy to something else other than him, like just being a full-on monster that like, has yeah. no moral compass. But if I go in this fucking shed with all this plastic and I see my girlfriend on that table, we're gonna have problems. Yeah, you're gonna get this Dexter smoke. And I mean, he's got to keep low profile. You got to hope his son doesn't slip up. Like, yeah, you know, that's my dad. You know, good old Dexter. What do you mean, Dexter Jim? Yeah, that's what I said, didn't I? Yeah, that's the thing too. Because now he's gonna know his identity. So now Dexter's got liability. He's gonna, he's not gonna be able to. Keep, it's gonna be a matter of time before Angie finds out, or before the other cops find out. You got the Teddy guy that got his teeth pulled. He kind of looks like a dork, but maybe he'll figure it out. Who knows? But I mean, I like where the show's going because now at this point it's pretty much gonna be balls to the wall. He's gonna start like he's gonna have to feed that thirst now that he's awakened the, uh, the give in to that dark passenger, as they call it. So I'm interested to see where this shit goes. I want to see who the main serial killer is gonna be. First episode, we're out the gate. I'm guessing it's gonna be Harrison. I don't know if it's gonna be that on the nose. So I feel like that's kind of predictable. But maybe yeah. it's not. Maybe the point of the, this season is not to try to guess who the serial killer is, but what is once you know what's Dexter gonna do about it, right? And is Dexter gonna cover his sloppiness? He's sloppy, he's gotta realize that, you know, either stop doing it, get away with this one, try to get away with this one, that you're gonna be dealing with a lot of cops. It looks like all the cops rolled up in yeah. there. And I bet, if I had to guess, I bet um, Angie's daughter, Audrey's gonna get caught in the crosshair. Maybe she turns up missing. And or that'll make things complicated. Angie's daughter starts falling in love with uh, Dexter's with son. With Harrison, yeah. And that's part of his MO. Because if, he, if he, he, the apple might not fall far from the tree, he's like, look, I'm killing, but like I said, he's killing the wrong people. I have a feeling that he has his hand in the cookie jar, if I'm right with Ember, I think if we're predicting right now, like I said, the show hasn't released all 10 episodes, not like Netflix. If I were predicting it right now, the sun's killing those girls. Yep. He's the reason why they're missing. I just want to know if, for him. I just want to know if he remembers, like, finding his mom's dead body in the bathtub. That's Rita. true. I think it's some flashback. And, and if he's there, like, to be, like, if he's trying to get his approval from his father, like, like murdering these girls, that's why he's doing it. Like, I stuck around town, I did all this, now I'm ready to come, here's my resume, or is he gonna also take out his father eventually. Yep, so a lot of questions. I'm sure we'll get answers, but um, yeah, overall, uh, definitely like the way the show's going. I like the fact how they're keeping Deb in the show via pretty much uh, Dexter's conscious. And at this point, he seems like he's been listening to her for the past 10 years. And once he once he said, you know, 187 to Matt, at this point, he's like, I don't really give a fuck what you think, Deb. I'm gonna do my thing now. But yep. yeah, great show. Um, glad to see that they're kind of making things right, they're riding the ship of what happened in season eight. But Final Thoughts Glacier? Final Thoughts, yeah, yeah, amazing show. I like how the way it's starting off. Like I said, it's a little bit slow burn, but it's, uh, like I said, it's what to be expected. It's been 10 years. They can't just throw us in the line of fire. But I bet the second episode and on, it's gonna be in the line of fire, so I can't wait for that. Also out there, anybody of you have Matt friends. You know what I'm kind of talking about? The Matt friends on here, the ones that pour alcohol on you, laugh at you, buy bigger guns at you, and fuck your girlfriends. Let us know down in the comments with Dragon Certified. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> if he's one of those friends, stop being his friend because he's probably an asshole it's bad for your health. But anyways, Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. Hey, we have it, guys. Another one in the books. Real question is what you guys think in there in Jurassic World Land? Um, how does this live up to your expectation? Like, did you have any high hopes for the season, or are you kind of just seeing if they're gonna, you know, fuck it up like they kind of did with the season finale. And as usual, guys, you know, we need your help. If you guys want us to continue to react to this show, show your support, comment, like, you know, subscribe, all that fun shit. But overall, what did you guys think of this first episode? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborne. And until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.